The World Wildlife Federation reports at least 10,000 species on Earth go extinct every year, many because of man's encroachment on nature. Back in the 1940s, a type of blue butterfly that lived in San Francisco was lost, seemingly forever, when its habitat and ecosystem essentially disappeared due to people moving in. But now, there's an effort happening to help revive those beautiful butterflies with the help of a close relative. NBC's Gotti Schwartz checks them out in our Sunday Spotlight. If there was ever a trail of tranquility to appreciate the intricacies of nature, look no further than this corner of San Francisco's Presidio National Park, where there's a blue fluttering of a butterfly effect 80 years in the making. This is the story of the Xerxes Blue, the first American butterfly to go extinct because of human development. It was last seen in 1941. That's a female, it's a beauty. The California Academy of Sciences now hoping to reintroduce these silvery blue cousins to the ecosystem to act as crucial pollinators. They are the closest genetic relatives found just miles away, collected by researchers in Monterey, then transported to the Presidio. Just by moving it from one habitat with permission to another, we're trying to restart a blue butterfly population here in the Presidio. So fix a problem that humans made. Yeah, we're, we're basically fixing a problem that humans caused. It's important to remember that over a century ago, before the Golden Gate Bridge, before the gold rush even, this was the natural habitat for about half of the city of San Francisco. Sand dunes teeming with life. But after the development of the city and the extinction of the Xerxes, a new conservation movement started with the Xerxes Society. We wanted to restore this landscape. Its mantle now being picked up by researchers and volunteers of, of today. And now we have the opportunity of bringing back a butterfly. Lou Stringer is the associate director of natural resources at the Presidio Trust. Seeing this color and this habitat that you've, that you've been building yeah. over the years, I mean, what does that mean to you? It's just incredible to see a piece of the puzzle come back that's been missing for so long. This is like a blue sign of hope. There oh, they go. There they go. Oh, oh, wow. In the dawn of this new age of bringing back dire wolves or creating woolly mice, for now, here the simplest solution is found in nature. It's not about bringing back a, a velociraptor. It's like, is there a missing function that we really need? And is there a way to put that back in the landscape? In most cases, the answer is yes, and the species doing that job are already out here. We just need to put them together. It's like matchmaking, reweaving the web of life one species at a time. For Sunday Today, Gotti Schwartz, San Francisco. Gotti, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget, you can catch the Today Show every morning on NBC or take Today when you're on the go. Just follow the Today podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.